What's up, YouTube? This video is brought to you by Weeboy. If you'd like to help out the channel and get some free stock, make sure you check out my link below. Hey, I'm Chris Sane, and today's video is about four stocks set to explode. And as we prepare to get ready to get back into the stock market on Tuesday, guys, I want to get you started on the right foot. But hey, guys, listen, if I helped you in any way, whether that was help you make some money or give you a new perspective on the stock market, please make sure you like and subscribe and join us on the journey. Without further ado, let's take a look at my portfolio. Hey guys, I think I speak for all of us when I say we are excited to get back into the market on tomorrow. Listen guys, we are gonna do what we always do, which is dominate, okay? First and foremost, but I got four stocks that is set to explode, but you still got a chance to get into them before they take off too much, okay? So again, follow me on this video, but more importantly, get your mind right. Get your mental right so that we can get ready to do what we do in a shortened week, okay? So listen, guys, without further ado, let's take a look at these four plays. Kicking things off with Bank of America, ticker symbol BAC, sitting at $32.84. Listen, guys, this is a play in the financial sector. Something I want you guys to be mindful of is how diverse I make sure that we remain, okay? We're not going to always pile 100% into the EV space when I know that sector is going to crash sometime soon, okay? When that crash, you'll be up huge because we are always in the best place and we're in the place where the world is moving, where the market is moving, okay? And that's the key factor, all right? So you guys have to pick up on these little nuggets in terms of how diverse did I make sure that we are in terms of the plays that we invest in on a 100K challenge, all right? Check this out, guys. I'm currently sitting at 51 shares with an average cost of $29.78. Right now, I'm up a little over 10%. But listen, if any pullback happens, it's a chance for me as well as you to build out our position fully and make sure that we are working towards our 125 shares minimum, okay? Everybody else, you do what you can to get five to 10 shares of this with the max being around 25 to 50. Next is Dropbox, ticker symbol DBX, currently sitting at 22.15 cent. This is one guys that ideally I want us to have at the $20 mark, preferably in the 18 range. However, still in this area, it has found support, okay? When a position finds support, you guys have to make note of that as an investor, okay? Support means that it's kind of always lingering around that price point okay it's not going down um but it's not going up too much okay so that's the area that it's going to trade in we call it trading sideways all right dropbox is one that you guys can be looking to get your position built out in guys i'm sitting at 75 shares with an average cost of 21.98 as i mentioned earlier i am looking to pounce on this definitely in the 21s but even more in the 20 dollar range and i hope for a crash in this back down to 18. Next is Golden Nugget, ticker symbol GNOG, currently sitting at $20.89. Guys, if you don't have this, you need to get this because this is a buy zone for Golden Nugget, okay? 20 and under is perfect for this, okay? Check this out, I'm currently sitting at 315 shares with an average cost of $13.69. The our new entry point for you guys that's not going to get it at 13 is 20 or 19, okay? This is a $30 and beyond play that you need to be in, okay? It's been taking a little long, so it's going to require you to develop that patience that I told you you need to become a great investor anyway. So this play I love, not only because I know the company is good, I don't worry about that, but I love what it's making and putting you all through that's looking for a get-rich-quick scheme or a quick hurry up and uh, shoot to the moon. Nope, it's not doing that. And I'm kind of happy because when it do it, again, it's gonna be off to the races. And then again, there'll be nothing else to write home about. And then last but not least, guys, it's Tattoo Chef, ticker symbol TTCF, currently sitting at $25.60. Listen, guys, I put us in this play around 23. It has already shot up. So listen, you have to be on your A game in terms of having this on your watch list waiting for and looking out for potential dips that it may have so that you can get your position fully built out. I'm currently sitting at the 125 shares minimum that I always suggest we all have. However, I want more than this. I got an average cost of $23.52. I'm up 9% right now, okay? So listen, this play hasn't ran up too far. Anything under 25, I like it. However, 
I am a buy low investor. And so I want this obviously the lowest I can get it. Hey guys, up next is our word of the day. And our word of the day is margin accounts. Listen guys, I want to talk to you guys just from a heart to heart standpoint. Okay. For those that ask often about what I think about margins account or our margins account good and things like that. The answer is no, no margins account are good. Okay. And do I use margins account? No, I am all cash. Okay. Everything that I invest is all money. Okay. It's no credit is no borrowed money is no none of that. And that leads me to the point that I want to talk to you guys about today. Okay. In terms of guiding you guys the right way, it's important that you guys get wise counsel. Okay. And I'm going to give you that wise counsel. Guys, if you have margins account, it's not the end of the world. Your goal has to be to get in a position where you're not using margin. That means get your other affairs in order. Okay. That means pay off debt, pay down debt, get some freed up disposable and discretionary income available so that you don't have to basically put it on credit. Okay. You know the story. And if you don't know the story and you knew around here, I became debt free in 2018. I own everything, all my houses, all my cars, you name it. I own it. Okay. Ownership matters to me. Okay. And so as a result, I don't have credit card debt. I don't have any type of debt and therefore I won't have margin debt. The plays and the home runs that I hit and the help you guys hit, that's all just profit. That's all money done with just real investing and having cash. Nothing that I gotta pay back, nothing that is borrowed money. And so listen guys, I want you to work towards if you are on a margin account. It's not the end of the world. I'm not even tripping on that. I want you guys to say, you know what? I gotta tighten my game up. You know what? I am playing. Uh, with fire because I'm always held under the gun for a play needing to go up or certain things needing to happen in my favor to work out in this particular position that I'm in. Okay. So again, guys, do what you can as part of your 2021 investment goals to make sure that you are putting yourself in position to wean yourself off of margins, to make yourself whole, pay it back in full so that you can then invest with the real cash that you make, that you earn, and that you are investing on a regular basis okay listen guys up next is our question of the day and our question of the day comes from Derek Jackson he says hey Chris on the dividend stocks do we want to set those to reinvest or just pay out the dividend for us to use the buy plays thanks for any guidance on this Derek I thank you for this question this is a phenomenal question in relation to our dividend plays and dividend stocks in general guys starting off I am a strong proponent for you all putting on your dividend reinvestment okay it's called drip and when you put that on it helps you guys to build out the play even quicker because not only you put money in it but then when it pays out the money goes right back into the play making it bigger and making it pay you more on the next time it pays you out okay so yes i am a, a huge advocate for putting your dividend reinvestment on but like with all things everything is about strategy okay in some instances it might make sense to reinvest the dividend in some instances you might get paid out a great dividend after you guys build it up to a substantial amount where you might want to take the profit you can pay a bill with that we pay our mortgages we pay car notes we pay utility bills, cell phone bills with dividend payments when done right. Okay. So you can do the same thing. Warren Buffett makes his living off of dividends. Okay. And he makes millions every quarter just off the holding one little stock. So again, it's a definitely a real thing that you guys can do. However, with that being said, you also want to maybe use a dividend to buy another play. Okay. You might add money towards another play that you see that has home run potential and you can build it out further. And one way to do that is some of the money from your dividend payout. Once it's up there, you guys starting off, you're going to see it got to get to a dollar, two dollars, three dollars. It got to grow first. So you're not going to come out the gate with that. But over time, I'm giving you guys that 50,000 foot view and that 50,000 foot perspective of what is to come once you guys remain committed to the process. Hope that was helpful though, Derek. If you have questions or comments, leave them below. I'll grab them and add them to my next video. Listen, I make videos like this every day. So if you like this one, make sure you check out the next one. Remember, most people see the end result. 
very few consider the journey do me a favor don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll see you all in the next one